Híjoles. Ok, vamos a aguantar aquí. I'm gonna hold here. And I gotta hold this at the same time. Bring this down at once. Come on, homie. Look at the moss. All these rubbers are so hard on the hoses. They need to be replaced as well, but one thing at a time. Okay. Major concern is not touching that RTV until I'm ready. Come on. Let's get this guy under first. Feels like the gasket is still in place. I'm gonna go slowly over and over the ports. And I'm pushing them down one at a time here on the uh, spark plug area. mentioned how much I despise Dorman. Uh, these have shoulders on them. So it helps align it exactly center. So far I'm seeing the gasket all the way around and perfect alignment. show you what I'm talking about with the spark plug holes. Now if you come here, let me see. There's a light. There's a light. Now if you notice how those ridges they should be around the tube of the spark plug. Every single hole is like that. Second time. I have my gearless ratchet here, ready tidy. And let me see, can we zoom in there? I'll put a picture overlay so you can see the torque specifications and sequence for yourself. Okay, what did I do with this guy? Okay, so two I'm using fingers to tighten it and then three Four, five, six, seven. Nine, ten. 
you do seem to be going down a bit. Finally. Okay, so I'm going to go one more time. There's one. There's two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Dealer. Okay. Seven. What should we view this? Not so bad. You're gonna ruin the new belt. That's true. You call the dealer. No, Nine. They don't have it. Huh? They don't have it. They don't have it at the advanced. Oh, okay. <laughs> We'll double check with the dealer first. I'd rather not put on a new belt with the old tensioner. I mean, yeah, the pulley. What's it called? Tensioner. Oh, tension, tensioner pulley? Not the assembly. You don't need the assembly. Okay, he's on the phone with the dealer. I'm gonna go ahead and wipe down the boots, actually. There's this guy here. Some brake clean. I'm just go wipe down these boots here. Yes, okay, sorry people. I'm so distracted. So I'm gonna go ahead, bring this down, bring these guys down. Oh, there's an O-ring that goes on here, so be aware. I know it's off of here. Where do you put it? Uh, that's fine, not a big deal. So anyway, this is the Napa part number for the tensioner assembly. Made in Canada. Made in Canada instead of China, which I'm okay with. If you're gonna go with aftermarket, it's not too bad. So, it's only two bolts from what I, I see here, these two bolts. And we'll go ahead and remove it. Hopefully we have access and that is not in the way. We see, we see. Okay. Let's see the 13 or 14 socket. That's one. And I gotta do this by feel, because you can't see a darn thing. Well, either way, I can't see a thing because it's underneath the pump. The water pump. Oh, I gotta use this hand. There we go. So we got this guy here. And it's a 13. Alright, one and two. Let's see. This one, I shouldn't even put the belt on. Now it's in the way a little bit. Nope, where are we at? Five pipes off there. What do you need? Shouldn't. Shouldn't be that tight. I'm trying to figure out what the thing is. Drop the mic. Now let's put on my flag. That's better. Okay, uh, so now I'm down to like my last couple threads on the tensioner. Almost out. Let me use what I just had back here. This guy. I'm gonna try to use this with my fingers. And then I'll show you. It's two 12 millimeter bol bolts, head bolts. There's no way I can show you until I get it out. I got no room in here. And it's right up against the frame. I still I'm gonna have to use a ratchet because I can't even turn it. What's up, bro? Thank you. 
Let me, let me correct my question. Who's good? <laughs> <laughs> Who's the best? Yeah, she is. Que no sé nada. I was trying to do my alternator and she found like, hey, this toy is bad. No, you want recording now? I'm recording, but I can't really record much anyway at this point. I just gotta wait until I get this out. You can talk for right now. It's all gonna get edited. What are you changing now? What is it? Oopsies. What was wrong with it? It's on top of the shield. You can't get to it. Mm. So close. I got it. You did? Nice. Did you need it? So, so you know, so Kate is changing that. But now, we all we want to change is this, but it's, it's, it's <laughs> supposed, to, uh, yeah. supposed to be uh, a few right minutes, now. you know, a few hours. So look at that. Oh, this was replaced before. Oh, shit. How long ago? Should I save that? This looks like it's the same. Let me see that. It's the same markings. It's the same company that made it. And I dropped Z bolt down there. Okay. But oh, the I want to show my viewers here the difference or the similarities, anyways. We got similarities. Same name, same everything. We're gonna be good to go. Obviously, I pulled off the attention or pulley. So you can go ahead and take that. And I'll turn you guys back on once I have this part done. Shut up, mother. I didn't turn it on. Oh, hold up. Okay. Apparently, I didn't turn the camera on. I got the tensioner on. I just, I'm right now putting all the hardware for the coil packs here, the hardware for the harness, and there's an O-ring that goes behind this, so be sure to have that on place. And I don't have a wrench for this guy, so I'm just going to go ahead and put this on with channel lock. It's only air. It's a PCV system. And unfortunately, I just don't have all my tools with me because this is all unexpected work. <laughs> it's always unexpected work with my friend here. <laughs> See? Uh, I think I've been on there many times. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone tells him to stick to the food. Stick to the food. <laughs> Food is good too. I'm okay with that. All right, we're gonna go make sure that this is on here. And then we have three connectors. I brought this up to give us a slack to be able to pull this off. So we're gonna go ahead and make sure you plug everything back here on the side. And I don't know if you can see that. Right here. Plugging this guy in. And this guy. Click. Yep. This guy has a, a yep. clip on. that goes over. Come on, guys. There we go. Sides on. And as you're pushing, this gets clicked forward. Boom. Done. So that's in its place. We have the hardness that goes into its place. And this keeps it from rubbing, chafing. And no issues there. Now we're going to work our way back over to the side. Uh, back you out. And then put the alternator and belt. So close. <laughs> Soaked in oil. Mm. Yes, yes. All right, so that's good. That's around. Yeah. <laughs> Astro. Oh, wow. <laughs> no, no, not like that. I mean, like, like a tool. Just something else, yeah. 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 Oof. Not Let quite the ready. It, the baby's heavy. Drive belt and diagram. All right, so we go over, over the power steering. I'm gonna sneak this over to the back. And you know the people that work well. Ah, he's so nice. He was like, uh, he was like, uh, he didn't try to get it. Give it to me, make sure I get it, and then. Uh, 
Because of course it's going to come back for something. Yeah. That I about like two or seven dollars maybe. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the, the price of this price like uh, two hundred seven dollars. Mm -hmm. he, he gave it to me for the one point. Okay. But um, I'm, I am doing a party for him in March, so I'm only okay. charging like three months cost. Okay, so that's all on. That's all on. We have that, and then we have the alternator. So we should be good there for now. We'll let this guy sit. We'll bring the alternator in. Oh, it's on. And Here's the alternator. <laughs> yes. All right, bushing. This is going to go up top. Bushings all the way collapsed. Now, whenever you have these, you have these bushings here that move open and close, and this has to be moving freely. And oops, it goes like this. Okay, drive belt, and that's good there. And the long bolt was over there somewhere. This thing was over there by the cleaner. There we go. We are in the hole. And we gotta go through there. <laughs> Many guys do. Wrong <laughs> one. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> it's easy to say that from this position. Alright. Let's see if we can hold this guy in place. This is the guy that goes up top, correct? Yes, it's gonna have that holding in place. Nope. No, sir. <laughs> it's already in. It's done. <laughs> no, the, the other bushing is a little bit caught on the uh alternator itself. So I'm making sure it doesn't get cross-threaded. It's in there. Um, that guy. These are a mini. And it's going to be a 14 inch, uh, 14 millimeter socket. Nice. It's going in. So maybe I'll bring you guys closer so you can see. Do do do. But you know what though? If this car runs right, you know like the the the, the STIs. I think we're good there. This car will keep up. But if this car is supposed to uh, embarrass Mustang. A new Mustang. There we go. Get it. There's a Mustang GT500 in it. Oh my god, 700 horsepower. It's still slower than the, Hel the Hellcat. It's still slower than the... Uh... You can't drive it. Hmm? You can't drive the Hellcat, you'll kill yourself. <laughs> That's the same thing. The Hellcat is the dog. Yes, yes. But they, they raise all four wheels. Oh yeah? They raise all four for their Challenger, second, most of the What the problem is, is... Uh, so now the bushing is starting to move and situate itself from tightening. It draws in that bushing. So I'm not going to torque it too much with this guy. This is just the gear. I'll use a regular ratchet for that. And I see that that guy is coming off. Oh, clear that yeah. What, what time? What, what time? What time? 4.30? Like an hour? Yeah, hours could be fine, right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah. an hour? Yeah, an hour. I would stop by burgers and fries. I want some fries. <laughs> I'll take fries. I want onion rings too. Fuck them. 
Yeah. Adiós, pa. Gracias. Sorry, I can't cook. It's okay. I understand. Okay, so this guy. I'm gonna bring this to the side here. Mm, and the, the PCM. It's okay. I'm gonna put this on here. And then I'll get it on the, uh, and then I'll get it on the tensioner and stuff. Pretty sure nothing's aligned. <laughs> All right, whoops. I'm gonna take you out here. And let me see, which tool do you have? This is yours? No, yours. I was gonna say, like, how many people do that with the zip tie? I, I put, remember I told okay. you I put it back. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, sorry. Gracias. Let's see here. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and make sure everything's somewhat in its place. Okay, I see. It's a tensioner that's gotta come off. I'll take it off the water pump. This is always easier to put it on a smooth pulley. And that's my tip for you guys. You put the belt on like normal on the tensioner itself and try to line up all the other pulleys as best as possible. In line, correct? You know, these killer zip ties are hanging up in places, scratching the heck out of my arm. Shoe here. Pretty sure it's got to come down to the right to release the tension. So, come on, buddy. Where are we at? Right Over there. I have to clock this differently. Okay, let's see. Make sure everything's lined up. Always double check your pulleys in alignment. So, crank pulleys 100% good. Tensioner, water pump, all the ribs there. And all the ribs here. Nope. Oh, everything's a winner. So now we'll go ahead and we'll go put this bracket back in. Uh, the space was needed to be made in order to get to that bottom alternator uh, bolt, through bolt. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use my ratchet, make sure that bottom bolt is torqued. And then we'll go back. Oops, it's, it's too short. Okay, so that's torqued. Let's double check this guy. I don't think it torqued. I do not. That's torqued. Okay, now we'll put the bracket back on. Those are bolts? Okay. I'm just gonna go this way. Alright. Set this in here. I don't know how well you can see this. I'm sorry, guys. Let 
making them dizzy. Vertigo. <laughs> That's fine. Yeah, you can put it down if you want. You can always adjust it. Uh, those are, what, 12? Those are 12s today. I could be wrong. Came off. There are 12s. Done. I'm gonna plug this guy in and all them. Okay, so this is the PCM. Looks like oh, or at least a fuse box. I'm not sure. This slides into place. Boom, boom. Perfect. Nice. Got the cover for that. Protect your electronics. And then we have this guy here. Which, you know what? I gotta get rid of a couple of these things. What is this for? Pipes. <laughs> <laughs> what pipes? Well, I didn't see anything needed for that. I don't know. That's something. Alright, so we have this guy. This back in here. Just two. Like that. And we have two bolts that go in here. Is that these? Yeah. And then I see... Oh, um, that one? This one gets, um... It's a round... Nut. None of those? Right there. It's a nut right there. Okay. It goes at the bottom there. Okay. In the bracket. Okay. Grab an extension. Whoopsies. Came off again. Okay. Too rough to put it this time. I had it through my shirt earlier. Keep it from getting hit. It might, so I'm sorry if the sound stinks. in its place. We have this guy that goes here. Don't know if it's going to be this guy or this. Hmm. Nope, it's going to be that. Can you see all that? Okay, good. I'm having trouble because I didn't take any of this stuff off. So, I'm feeling a little confused while I'm doing this. Alright, uh, this has to go, what, on there, I'm guessing. Okay, that's that guy. I get that. Hmm. I'm gonna go on top. We shall see. Oh, okay. That goes on there like that. Got it. Alright, so I will put this under. Has a better reach that way. Put that guy on there. 
more than likely it's going to be this guy. And then this guy is for the ground, correct? What goes here? One of those. One of these. There's got to be something that goes here. Attaches. What else did you take off? I know that gets attached to the alternator. That, that's okay. I get that much. This goes here, this goes there. Yeah, that, yeah. Um. I'm okay with that part, but there is something that goes here. Maybe here and here, or... Yeah, I know. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. The this cover? Valve cover. That's not a valve cover. That's uh, just a engine cover. Okay. Cover, yeah, yeah. Okay. So. <laughs> well, I'm just assuring everybody, you know, I did not take any of this apart. <laughs> so. Yeah, that's it. Well, I don't like the fact it's not. Okay. It wasn't locking in place. I'm trying to see if I should put it on top. Maybe I'll put it on top instead. I'm excited for this burgers. Do you eat wings? I do, but not often because it's messy. I will edit that. I can't put cussing. I can. <laughs> Every time I talk to the place, it brings back. I anger. know. I know. Absolutely. I get it. And it's 12. I know. This darn YouTube channel. Oh. Er. I, I, I'm on a YouTube channel. Are you so, cooking? Yeah. Anything I know. Not cars. No, or, not cars. Or, or I could have a channel that says how to break shit on cars. <laughs> And then have you come in and fix it. Mm, let's sabotage. Let's see how, how well she fixes things and blah blah blah. Man. Could work. Actually this I can use this. Yeah, right there. I was like saying the same thing. I, think, uh... I like to start them off by hand though because uh, I like to feel if they're binding at all. Alright. Okay, and then we'll take off my tools. We still gotta connect the battery, but uh, we should be okay. I'm gonna go ahead and clear off the tools. La boca? Oh. Right. Coño. Este hombre, te digo, I tell him. Sorry, sorry. The thing is on the floor. Oh, it's not even a Torx. Oh, because they're not Torx, okay. What? That's not the right size. Bigger? Bigger. Probably six. I don't know. It's five. What kind of size here? So that's the other issue. You have the cover on, and you can't see if yeah, there's leaks and stuff like yeah. that. But, uh, you don't really need a cover. It's just for, for the noise. Uh, it looks, I think. Because yeah. I don't even think noise. I don't know. Hey, you're not recording anymore, are you? I am. Because uh, I want to hear this thing fire up. And... We need a 10 millimeter socket. I know. You have such a potty mouth. <laughs> Not me. I don't cuss ever. <laughs> no, I cuss like a sailor. <laughs> Who am I kidding? Alright, and this guy, that's good, yeah. Alright. What do you think? Fire it up? I think so. Everything's out of the way. Sweet. So the belt is on okay.
The only thing I don't like is there's a wire over there to the side. It's got to be rerouted. I'll show you that in a second here. But success, overall success. You see this wire here? There's this EGR pipe that's going to get hot. You've got to make sure it's back in its place over here off of that wire. There we go. Beautiful. Wow. That's the cook side of him. <laughs> Is that good enough? Excellent. This is on the minimum level. Okay. Yeah, it should be at, it should be topped off. That's good. That's within specification. Make sure you use the right stuff. Just double checking. And so far, so good. Everything looks okay. I'm not hearing any issues. The only thing that concerns me is the uh, valve cover leaking. So far, so good. It won't leak right away. So, that's it for this one. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. And hopefully you found this helpful.